Or you want to do upgrades on your printer that involves splicing wires, but you're not well versed at soldering? Well, I'm going to show you guys how to use our quick solder connectors here, which will allow you to splice wires on your 3D printer with only a heat gun. So let's get to it. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use these little quick solder connectors. These are actually a heat shrink with little adhesive bands and a solder ring in the center. Now these are good if you do not know how to solder and you still want to have a good mechanical connection when you're splicing wires. And the big thing that people make a mistake when using these is they use these with a lighter, which they're not designed to be used for. They're designed to be used with an actual heat gun. You want a heat gun with at least a 500 watt output. And if we check here on the label of mine, this is a 1500 watt, so this will do just fine. These little solder seal connectors come in various sizes. You have your smallest ones, which are usually white. And you can see these here. These are good for like 22 to 26 gauge wire. You have the red ones, which are good for 18 to 22 gauge wire. The blue ones are good for 16 to 14 gauge. And the yellow ones are for larger gauge, like 10 to 12. So now on our 3D printers, some of our main power wires will use the larger ones. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to do a wire splice using a heater wire, which is usually 18 to 20 gauge. And then we're also going to splice a wire that would commonly be used for thermistor lines or fans. Now, the key with these is getting them hot enough that this little solder bead actually melts into the wire. If you don't get it melted and you don't shrink the whole thing evenly, these will not work. So let's start with our heater line for the example. So I'm going to strip the ends of these. I'm going to strip back about six millimeters off of each end. And you can see here with the heater line, you get this kind of fraying here. Go ahead and nip this off. Now we're going to slide the uh, quick solder connector over here and push the wire all the way through. Now we're going to take the other wire that we're splicing into and we're going to twist these together so we get a nice mechanical bond. Make sure none of the wires are sticking out. Just kind of give it a pinch. You see how we have a nice mechanical bond here. We can now slide the quick solder connector over and we want to align the solder ring with the wires. We're going to start by heating up the outside to get these to seal up and then we're going to do the center. So I'm going to turn the heat gun on high and start working on this side and this side, and then we'll make sure the center fully melts. Now, as I do this, I'm going to be rolling the cable. So keep an eye with my hands to see what I'm doing. And now move to the center. You can see the solder's melting. Go ahead and just hit the whole thing. Make sure it's all uniformly melted and go ahead and turn it off. Now, You'll know that this is done cooling down and everything's set up when it kind of turns like a milky color. So if I blow on it here, you can see it'll turn a color. And just like that, you can see it's cooled down. I can touch it. And if we give this a pull, it's got a nice solid connection. So if you notice here, we can see that the solder ring fully melted into the wire and that's what you want to see. I can't tell you how many people I've seen printers where these are not completely melted like this. It could either be due to poor technique or it could also be due to poor quality quick solder connectors or solder seal connectors, whatever you want to call them. They're sold under a bunch of different brand names. And we're going to take this little piece of wire and solder these two ends together just to show you how it looks like on the smaller wire. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just strip a little off of each end. We're going to slide the quick solder connector over the end. And you're going to want to push it all the way out the other end. Straighten the wires out, and now we're going to go ahead and twist these together. So you can see here we have a nice mechanical bond. Go ahead and slide this over, and remember we're going to put the solder band over the wire. So go ahead and push this through. Make sure that's aligned up, and then we're going to just shrink this whole thing at once since this one is so small. So again, put the heat gun on high. Just be careful with these smaller wires that you don't melt the insulation of the actual wire. And you can see here, the solder has melted into the wire. And again, once we let this cool, it'll turn kind of a milky white, and then the splice is done. So this is a really good alternative if you're not comfortable or don't know how to use a soldering iron. The key here though, 
is making sure that this is fully melted. Like I said, I've seen many people in like the Facebook groups and Discord servers where they're using these connectors and they're using them improperly where the whole thing has not completely melted. So these are actually a pretty cool design and they're really good for quick splices because you're just using heat. But the thing is you have to make sure this melts and you wanna make sure these ends close up as well. Otherwise the connection is poor, but you can see here now this is cooled down. If I go and pull on this, it's a nice solid connection. So this is something I would even use on my printer if I didn't feel like busting out the soldering iron and putting heat shrink on. The key again is to make sure the solder's melted. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was clear to show you guys exactly how to use these quick solder connectors. I've actually been using them quite a bit on my own printers doing quick little repairs or even layer fan upgrades. So if you want to pick up a set of either the five pack of the small solder seals or the large assortment that has 400 pieces in it, you can go ahead and click the links in the video description, which will also support our channel. Hope you guys learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, happy printing. I'll see you guys on the next one.